Hello fellow loomers. This is a sock talk. Yes, I have socks and these special sock knitting yarn. Uh, perfect. Um, this is actually not a um, tutorial for knitting socks, but more like um, my own, um, uh, you know, process for knitting socks. I love knitting socks and a lot of people ask me, share the pattern and it's hard for me to basically create the pattern of a, of a sock. I might do it, but, uh, you know, mm, I think it's a very easy process. And this video and these socks, which look pretty complicated, eh, but I trust me, these are very easy for beginners. So if you are a beginner sock knitting uh, knitter or you have never knitted a socks or, and you want to knit a socks, I suggest you go for these. Uh, these are my favorite kind of socks. They are a uh, pair. This is a yarn uh, which is called Perfect. Pe perfect because it is, it's like, you know, there's a little change of perfect. So it's perfect. I like its name the way it is because the, uh, the pair of the socks um, are knitted exactly the same. And the first time I got to know about it, it's uh, on uh, the Socks Alaloom uh, Facebook page and i got to know about this uh, yarn and then i ordered that and then i researched the uh, youtube videos if there are um uh, uh, you know uh, guidelines so arne and carlos were the brilliant duo which designed these uh, socks yarn um i am totally uh, you know in love with these yarn and these uh, the um Arne and Carlos that did a great job of designing these yarn and they have a video where they talk about uh, how to use this yarn. Not, sock knitting is a very uh, straight and simple thing but actually this yarn the way this yarn is designed is that these this pattern it automatically unfolds and there was n uh, no video on YouTube about knitting this uh, these socks uh, using perfect yarn on looms. So I thought of sharing my experience of knitting with this yarn. Since these yarn are my, uh, you know, I love them. After lo uh, uh, lace knitting, this is my favorite, uh, you know, um, a yarn knitting project. So I have quite a bit of these yarn, a whole uh, collection of it. And where I live, we don't get these yarn. So I have people, anyone who's traveling from United States um, brings them uh, for me. Um, I bought my first um, uh, ball for on Amazon, which was like pretty expensive. It was $19 uh, dollars or something. Ultimately, I ended up paying like 21 or $20. Dollars. And then I discovered there is Webb's yarn uh, from where I got this whole lot of yarn. There are There is a whole pile of lovely yarn that I got from Webb's yarn. I paid, I remember I paid $120 for eight uh, skeins of, and each skein uh, is enough, each ball is enough for making one pair of socks, identical socks. And and you see how pretty it is the design unfolds like this and there are uh, there is a yarn portion for cuff and then all the prints come then there is a heel portion and then there is a um, there are toes I haven't yet sewn this um, you know stitch these uh, toes because uh, I want I'll in the later in this video I'll show you how I do that so this video is all about sharing with you how I knit socks, not exactly the pattern. But hopefully, after this uh, video, you might want to go ahead and start knitting socks all by yourself. Uh, there are a whole lot of um, links on, on in the description section of this video, which will help you start knitting a socks. And your beginning is if you are using this uh, pattern, uh, Arne and Carlos uh, Perfect Yarn for knitting socks, then your first uh, starting point should be a video link where these people are, are explaining how to use this yarn. This yarn, each ball comes with, uh, when you open these ball, 
there are these, uh, there's a whole bit of, uh, l let me put this one because this is going to be my, my next uh, set. So, see, there is this whole, uh, the, uh, a yellow part of the yarn which is actually stuck in this uh, wrapper, the, the tag, the label of the um, skein. So you will take that out and pull it uh, and you, you will see if you follow trace that it goes inside the ball so you'll pull this see here not this one the one that comes from inside okay here you keep pulling it keep pulling it keep pulling it and but this yellow is not for knitting right so you take it out cut it and throw all the yellow portion and then start knitting this portion the first is comes out the cuff section once the cuff is knitted then comes the print section you go on knitting the print section one after the other one after the other and then the same cuff color reappears which means it's time to knit the heel and then the rest of the portion and toes so Ani and Carlos uh, would explain you better, so please click onto their video and uh, learn how to open, how to start uh, using this um, uh, perfect yarn. I have already knitted this first pair of socks and I've cast it on uh, for uh, the second pair. So this is how, there are three sections in the socks that I knit, very simple. There is a two inch or sometimes one and a half inch um, a high uh, one by one or two by two uh, ribbing to formulate to knit the um, cuffs. And then the legs, which is this printed portion here. If you are using perfect, then this print will come automatically. That is how the yarn are dyed. But if you are using any other like you know a, a, a solid color or any other shade it just like you know knit the length of the legs that you want there are many online guides which basically um, you know helps you um, uh, measure what should be the length of the leg and length of the leg is here is always same and then there is the heel portion see the heel goes like this and it turns there is the uh, link to tutorial from uh, joanna who is teaching um, uh, who has a wonderful tutorial on knitting uh, uh, heels and toes and that is what i follow all my socks are cuff up uh, i don't do kitchener and i don't do toe up uh, don't knit toe up uh, socks it's very easy for me and it, it's very neat and wearable the socks that I have knitted. So and also the Arne and Carlos perfect yarns are toe up yarn, uh, sorry um, cuff uh, down yarns. So uh, from cuff down this is the rim, this is the leg and then my this is the third part of the socks uh, which is uh, the heel follow the tutorial by Joanna I have given a link below which teaches a very simple beautiful I don't know if it is German short rows or what is the um, title or what is the category of that uh, but it works and there is never a hole on these uh, on, on uh, the heels interestingly the heels and the toes are knitted exactly the same yeah it is it is exactly it follows the maths just the difference is that we knit the uh, heels on one side and toes on exactly the opposite side let's see how so when you are using this is a 56 peg um, uh, uh, one fourth uh, gauge uh, loom it is fine ga ga uh, fine gauge loom you can also knit these um, printed socks on 316 I have never knitted on 316 this was this is my initial experience of using I used one fourth inch uh, gauge only for knitting these perfect socks because they, they come these these designs 
are meant for small gauge. So when you finish the cuff, start, then comes the um, leg portion. Nothing, uh, it is just stock in it. This is one pearl walnut and this is a uh, simple stock in it. When, and then when this is finished, your cuff is finished, your leg is knitted, comes the tricky part which is the heel. For heel, you will equally divide the loom into two portions. This is 56. So if I divide, each part will have 28 pegs, right? If this is my first peg and this is my 28th peg, I don't have a stitch marker right now, but I guess I'll just use. Uh, so this is my 28th peg. I will start knitting back and forth in short rows the heel as Joanna explained. And there is no, um, like I follow exactly the same maths that Joanna taught and divide the uh, loom in two parts. And then each of these half parts is divided into three portions. Sometimes it is equal, sometimes it's not equal. Like this is 28. So I have divided 28 by 10 on each side and then uh, sorry nine on each side from if if our uh, if the half of first is here so I'll have nine and then uh, eight and then nine right so nine nine eighteen sorry in the middle is ten so ten in the middle and nine on this end and nine on this end so peg one two nine is one two three four five six seven eight nine and then count ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then one two three four five six seven eight nine right so that is how you will mostly design divide them into um you know equal parts you cannot do nine here eight here or eleven here that is not going to make the heel uh, very symmetrical and on the right shape the middle one stays uh, the each end will stay same number and in the middle you will uh, if I work on on 12 pegs because sometimes I do uh, you know uh, knit socks for children which are which is which I do on 24 pegs so the uh, loom is divided into uh, 12 and each 12 part is then divided into four each so that is the maths here you watch that video and you will get to know it much better than I'm trying to explain so after knitting the heel, then comes the foot. This is a pair of socks, which is for anywhere from size eight to size nine. And my uh, maths is that from this part of the heel, that is the lower part of the heel to here, which is the maximum uh, end of this, um, you know, socks is eight and a half. When we are knitting socks, we always go for um, negative ease, which means it's a little tighter, so it fits snug. And once you, uh, you know, come up, then again, I'll tell you that there are guides online, which basically uh, explains, I'll, um, you know, there is a, uh, there is a link on the, in the um, uh, uh, description section, which takes you to a website where there is a guideline for knitting socks knitting. So when you, are, you achieve the right length of the foot, in the in case of our, uh, this perfect yarn, the, when the print ends and the plain portion is start, that is the place that you know that, okay, my foot is over and I'll start knitting the toes. And that is where you can adjust. If you wanted to make a shorter, like, you know, a seven and a half inch, because you still, you wear a size six or seven uh, shoe, then uh, you can knit, shorter if you if you have a uh, like if you wear size 12 shoes and you need longer foot then for the toe section this um, you know uh, these yarns have uh, a lot of um, yarn and you can you can adjust you can keep knitting and then do the uh, knit the toe the toe is knitted exactly the way you have knitted the heels 
and when the toe is knitted it looks like this when the toe is finished this you will do the same thing divide but this time for knitting the toe you will use the other half of the loom i have knitted if i have knitted the um heel on the right side of the loom then i'm going to knit the toes on the left side so because yeah toes are in the front and this uh, heels are at the back and this is very i i i would say very raw non technical kind of a talk i'm not even sure how many of you can are following me but i would love to uh, you know uh, help you and explain it to you if you um, uh, uh, drop a question so yes once you knit the uh, toe and cast off it looks like this and you'll take a leave, when you are casting off leave a long tail and from the other side like the wrong side stitch these two closely see I'll okay so this long tail that you have left thread it in a needle a tapestry needle and then very closely take a, these v you know when you uh, are closing there are these stitches here so just uh, it is like blanket stitch you can do like close it like this and this will make it very um strong and sturdy these yarn washes very well in washing machine and they can, these are like boot socks they are warm they are 70% wool this yarn is so this is not a, a simple house socks you can wear it on hikes and you can wear it on your boot and and shoes so once again your sequence will go if you are using this yarn go to the arne and carlos um, tutorials and see how to use the yarn ball and then uh, watch the toes and heels tutorial by joanna and then begin your work it's just four portions i call it three because um heels and toes are knitted the same way so it is calf legs heels foot and toes and your socks is ready my suggestion is if either use this yarn but this yarn is a very expensive one for try if you are a very seasoned socks knitter uh, no problem probably you don't even need my uh, video in that case but if you uh, wanted to you know start you are new don't get overwhelmed it's not a very complicated thing all you need is know how to do one by one rib you know the measurements of the socks there is the how to measure the foot uh, there is a, a tutorial by sendwood i've put a link on how to measure the uh, your feet for or foot for um knitting socks and then watch that video for knitting uh, heels and uh, toes and you are fine you are all good to go knitting a 